think mobile service across the nation is being weeded out of libraries um, because of the economic situation right now, the price of gas, um, the cost of maintaining the vehicles, it's, it's become rather expensive and a burden upon a lot of library systems. It's wonderful that Tulsa City County Library System has not only supported us, but also um, bought us a new bookmobile and they're actually pushing us forward into new directions instead of toning us down. And I think that the bookmobile service is more important than ever, especially with the communities that we serve in, in the, in the at-risk neighborhoods and the, the low-income families. There's not a lot of opportunity for them just to walk to the library or drive to the library after work. So for a lot of these children, this is the only opportunity they'll ever have to step into a public library. Well, it makes it easier for them to get library books because we don't have a vehicle. So they can easily uh, just come and get the books that they need and every week just return them and bring them back. And it's a real easy walk because we live right over there. I've been wanting to work at the library for a long time. I applied several years ago and just always kind of checked the website and see if there were any openings. And I saw this one, so I applied and I went through like three interviews with Sean and with Brad. And I remember the first interview, Brad asked me what I did to prepare for it. And I was just like, well, I was just hoping to get by on enthusiasm. <laughs> I really just decided to wing it because I think I'm good for the job. That's for you. Oh, it's for me. Thank yes. you. I will put it on my desk at work. When Shauna came in for an interview, I knew right away that she was the perfect person for the position. She's always smiling. She's very, very happy. She works very, very hard, and she's genuinely concerned uh, for the people that we serve, and I think that's important. I didn't need just another library employee that would be punching a, a clock every day, in and out. I needed someone who would um, genuinely care for the children. Some people are, you know, a little standoffish, you know, they don't know if I can pick out books for them. I mean, and that's fine, it's just going to take a while for them to warm up to me. And But some of the kids, they're just like, you're new, huh? You know, I guess they probably see me doing everything wrong, and, and they're telling me where everything's at. They're like, oh yeah, he needs one of those bags, and it's in that cabinet, and so, I mean, yeah, they're helping me out. What Three like? Yeah, I can get that one. It gets really chaotic on the bookmobile. It's a really enclosed space, lots of kids on there all at once, and you got to do a lot of crowd control. I mean, kids, they're, they're so excited. They want to scan the books, and they want stickers, and, uh, you know, they have five of them all there, piles of books, and you don't know who's checking out what. I like the new girl on the bookmobile. There are many unsupervised children that come on the bookmobile. A lot of them are not allowed to go home, basically. They're told to stay outside and play for X amount of time. And so they come in a lot of the time. Children will come in without shoes on in the winter, without coats on, and they come in every week. And it's a great stabilizer for them to know that we are there every single week. Please, please what? Please. I have to teach them good manners, good things, you know. I have to say, hey, don't take nothing without permission, please, you know. It's another thing, you know, we're teaching good, things to the kids. It's definitely showing these kids that their community does care about them and isn't going to leave them behind and you know that their education is very important and that the you know Tulsa is committed to giving that education to all kids not just the privileged ones. One of the things that worked really well in the piece is the story about a new girl coming in and getting hired because if you talk about an organization and do a piece on them then that's it's plain if you can have a fresh perspective and follow someone and have their personal story then it draws you into the piece my favorite part of making the bookmobile piece was definitely like getting um, the children into it I mean I love kids and I love what the bookmobile does and I like showing like you know the kids that were so happy you know like if there was a shot of, like, there were some kids, you know, getting excited over a book, I'd be like, hey, we need to get something like that. Because, you know, you get the people working, you get the people, you know, checking out books, but if you don't see the other side of the kids being so happy and full of life because of this bookmobile, yeah. you know, that was the part I think that was needed. Once you've seen so many different pieces and you really understand what kind of elements are needed in every piece, Whenever you just watch it, you realize that something is missing. It, won't, it just won't feel right to you. And 
sometimes that thing is hard to find and you need an outside perspective, but sometimes you just know right away and you can go get that and add it in and it'll be perfect. Thank you.